many of us, we are afraid of death. Even though this life is not always great, so much struggles every day of our life. And yet we cling on to this life because many of us are not too sure what will be in store for us in the next life. Even for those of us who have faith, we don't really desire to go to heaven that quickly. My dear brothers and sisters, heaven is really a messianic banquet. A banquet is where we find joy. A banquet is where we celebrate. A banquet is where there is fun, there is laughter, there is sharing, there is music, and there is celebration. Indeed, my dear brothers and sisters, what is the whole purpose of life? It's relationship. It is relationship that makes us truly happy and fulfilled in life. Meaningful relationship. Enriching relationship. Not just any kind of relationship. When a person has deep relationship with his brothers and sisters, and deep relationship with God, that he will find life always beautiful, meaningful, even when they have to struggle. That is why those people who are doing so well in life but have no time for relationship, their life is empty. Their life is a burden. They have no joy. And they are missing out when they retire by the time when they have made enough money, so to speak all their friends would have gone by. So it's about messianic banquet, relationship, a place where we can find security, intimacy, acceptance, and love. And what is beautiful about this messianic banquet, who is the chef? The chef is God himself. He is the one providing the food. Heaven is a place where we will have plenty. No one will be short of anything. There will be abundance. Jesus' multiplication of the loaves was simply in anticipation of the giving of himself. In the Eucharist, the bread of life. The multiplication of loaves was a preparation for Jesus to give us the heavenly bread. Only Jesus and satisfy the hunger of our hearts. Only the word of God can enlighten our minds. That is why we know that in a Catholic church, people who are dying, we give them the viaticum, food for the journey, so that they will not go back to Jesus alone without company. Dying alone is frightening. That is why elderly they don't like to stay alone at home because they are afraid to die without people around them because death is such a lonely journey. But with the Eucharist, death will never be lonely because you know Jesus is with you. And then this meal we are told, not only there is food, there is plenty, but this meal will be held at the host house. You know, if you're invited to someone's house, means to say you are considered their friend. Normally for occasions, formal occasions, we invite business colleagues to an institution, to a restaurant. But for friends, we bring them to our home. And the Lord is telling us, he is inviting us to his house. We are his special guests. God treats us as if we are his friends. And that is why to be invited to the house of our Lord is certainly a great privilege. Because it is only when we are recognized as personal friends, then there is truly this intimacy, the ability to share whatever is in our mind, whatever is in our heart. And that is not all. This messianic banquet, we are told, is given to all. All can participate in this banquet. So beautiful. In life, huh? it's an irony, really. 
Some of us got plenty of food, especially rich people got plenty and plenty of food. Whatever they want, they have the money to buy, but they cannot eat. They are too busy with their work, with their business, no time to eat. Or they are too sickly, they cannot eat. And then we have those people who can eat, but they have no money. They have no food. So it's important not just to have good food and good company. We must be able to partake of the meal and share the joy. And that is what Jesus is doing. He said he wants to make us whole so that we can participate in the dinner, in the banquet. Otherwise, the banquet would not be complete. And what is even more interesting, we are told that this invitation is given to all, including the Gentiles. So my dear brothers and sisters, this is a beautiful invitation of our Lord, beautiful dream that all of us will share in the heavenly joy, the heavenly banquet, where we will be one communion of people of unity and of completeness.